Hello everybody, this is Stat Phantom, and welcome to my very first Rune Dragon video. Now since Rune Dragons have only just been released, the video is not going to be very good, it's not going to be a complete guide, it's just showing you them, showing you their attacks, what you should break, what you should use, and yada yada yada. Now as you can see here, I was actually the very first person to enter in my world, and uh, Rune Dragons are a little bit graphically bugged, considering this is the first time rendering them. However, the Rune Dragons themselves are actually pretty easy, you do need to bring some food though, and the Elites tend and drain your food a fair bit, just like the elite Edamus, they can uh, really drain your food. But if you're not killing any elites and only killing the Rune Dragon, Soul Split will work perfectly fine. And you want to bring range, they seem to have a lower range defense than any other style. And as stated by Jagex, the very first stage you need to break their armor with Dragon Bane Bolts, so make sure you break Dragon Bane Bolts. After this phase, the Dra Rune Dragon will fly high up in the air, and now you can switch to any other bolts or arrows that you want. However, you can use Dragon Bane Bolts through the entire fight. They do seem to be quite effective, more than, for example, on Queen Black Dragon, but that might be because of their 100% accuracy bonus. So use Dragon Bane Bolts or switch out to your Tier 90 Bolts, either one's fine, or arrows. And as stated, Dragon Fire Potions, even Super Dragon Fire Potions, won't protect you from the full breath. However, it does reduce it to a minuscule amount of damage, so there's no need to bring a shield or any extra things just to deal with that. And while the dragon's up in the air, she does seem to take extra damage from range attacks. I have seen my bolts hit a fair bit higher than normally they would, so I believe there is a range bonus damage against them while they are up in the air. However, after you've dealt with this phase, she'll land on the ground again and start attacking you. And while you're in this phase, each one of her attacks actually progressively gets stronger and stronger, so you want to take them out quickly. On rune dragons, it's actually not that bad. However, on the elite dragons, you do notice it a fair bit, so you want to use an ultimate as soon as, or as they're about to come down on the ground and then just kill them as soon as possible. In this phase, I've had elite dragons auto attack over 4,000 damage on me, so especially on the elite dragons, you'll want to use an ultimate when she is on the ground or about to fly down onto the ground just so you can take them out that bit faster. And if you're not in melee range, like other metal dragons, they won't move to get in melee range and they'll attack you with both magic and range damage, so there's no point really prayer. You probably could press swap but there's no point just soul split through the whole thing and you'll be fine so that's basically it for the fight they're pretty easy they just require a little bit of food and concentration on them but they're not bad at all now onto the drops they have a hundred percent chance of dropping a rune dragon bone and also a rune bar and the rune dragon bones are worth about 20k at the moment they may drop a bit they are better than frost dragon bones but no telling how long they would actually keep their price up at the moment so they've got a hundred percent chance of basically dropping 30k worth of loot together and then they're actual drop themselves is usually worth between 30k to 50k you can get the random 100k drop because they can drop dragon legs and skirts and also even onyx bolt tips eight of them which is worth about 70k so in terms of money they're actually pretty stable even though it was absolutely packed i made about three to 3.5 million coins an hour here but their experience is not the best considering how long they take to kill. They basically give you the same experience as Celestial Dragons. And when you compare the um, kill time between one Celestial Dragon and one Rune Dragon, there is a pretty big difference there. And also the unique drops. They give you the special attachment to the Glacor boots. They are only be able to be dropped if you've got them as a Slayer task. So there's no point really camping them for a while. They are, as I said, decent money, but not the best in terms of experience. There are better things to kill. Celestial Dragon, for example, being one. Now these dragons are supposed to be only one way combat aggressive. So if one's on you, another one won't attack you. That does seem to be the case. However, they seem to turn and attack other people randomly. So it's not exactly multi-combat and not exactly exactly single way combat multiple people can attack the same dragon people can try to snipe your dragons away from you so the elite dragons do seem to have the exact same mechanics as the elite edamus where they just walk around they're not actually targeting anyone or you and they're not aggressive and you got to be the first one to attack and then they'll be aggressive on you so all in all i'll say this update is actually a pretty good one although if i actually consider this a pretty small update it's nothing game breaking but definitely won't become dead content anytime soon especially since the add-ons to the glaciite boots are degradable they basically degrade the boots back into the original glaciite boots they are pretty annoying basically you can treat them like the level 90 power gloves that are dropped from or at celestial dragons and the ascension creatures and the reason i haven't done anything on the adamant dragons yet is because they're basically the exact same as mithril dragons where you just soul split and kill them all there's no different phases about them no special unique drops except for they do have adamant dragon bones and no quests or and pretty much no requirements to kill them you just can walk in there and kill them whenever 
whatever you want. Although they do have uh, adamant dragon bones themselves as well, which is just a bit less than rune dragon bones. So I think that they might be camped, much like how green dragons were camped for their bones. They might be camped for bones as well. But it's definitely too early to call anything like that right now. So while I can see rune dragons being pretty fun, pretty profitable, and will always have someone there, not going to become dead content, they're basically only worthwhile while on a slayer task, even though it's not that great experience. They will only drop their boot components on a slayer task. I hope you guys like the show of my rune dragons, and hopefully you guys now know what to do when you come here yourself. Watch out, it's going to be packed for a while with people not realising that the boot drops are only available while on a slayer task. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy. See you next time. Thank you.